Hey guys, today we will have a look at some of the new modules that were added to the VCV collection in the last weeks. And already here we start with the uh, um, new modules from RJ modules or from the RJ collection. We have the playable code module, which is a sort of a code generator with four outputs. We have a ping pong delay, um, which you can sync also with the clock. And we have a brick wall limiter and <laughs> a couple of blank modules also, a meow and a sort of a cacti blank module. Here I have a small patch going um, with the chord and the ping pong. It sounds like this. So I'm just generating a chord to the VC01. And this is going through the ping pong delay, which is also synced to the clock. So it's a really nice addition, go check it out. Okay, and here we have a few new modules from the Count Modular Collection. We have Chances, which is a sort of a Bernoulli gate module. We have Offset, so you can add Offset to your voltage. We have Fade and the Fade Expansion, so you can um, fade voices or voltages or control voltages in and out. Here I have a small patch. So the SEC3 is sending gates through chances. So once it's triggering one FM operator and once um, the second FM operator, I have offset adding offset to the voltage and fade will fade the voices in and out. And here in the expansion, you can see on the scopes um, exactly the voltage we get with each stage. So let's have a listen to this. Again, I can um, output the voltage only from A or only from B, or send the gates only to A or only for B, just like the Bernoulli gate. I can add offset. And I can fade the voices in and out. And again, have a look on the scopes, what happens with each and every step or stage. And now fade in. Very nice, so this was the Count Modular Collection. Okay, and here we have a new oscillator from the Sonus um, Collection, Tropicana, which is a really interesting um, oscillator. It sounds like this. I have here Nomelia from Stellare sequencing it, and it's going through some reverb. And you can change. its colors. You can also choose the harmonics mode full or just the even or hot, uh, odd harmonics. Change the octaves or the pitch. Oh man. And of course we can also modulate everything which is also quite cool. Oh. Very cool, so this is the new oscillator from Sonus. Okay, and here we have uh, new modules from Racket Science. We have the Vector Victor, which you can use to record control voltage. We have the Boogie Bay, which is a sort of a volt meter, but uh, um, very visual. <laughs> and we have the Boogie Bay H8. So you can see we have again a voltmeter that you can see exactly the movements of your control voltage, which can be quite helpful. So here I have the wave oscillator being modulated by um, the vector Victor and I have here the ATFO just so we can see the movements, which is quite cool. Let's have a listen to this. We can see also the modulation on the scope. Also in the right click menu, we can change the range for A and B according to the voltage we use. Okay, and here we have a new developer, the Mokba Modular. Um, with some interesting modules, we have a fader, a mixer, a clock divider, and a counter. We have a sort of a switch to select between four different inputs. And here we have something really interesting. If you are using VCV-REC um, on different computers and you want to sync them 
you have here a master and a slave module that can um, connect or can have a conversation <laughs> with the other computer through um, Wi-Fi, I guess. Um, so if you're interested, um, check this out. And we have also four oscillators. So here I have two grid sequencers modulating or controlling or sending pitch information to two different oscillators and they are going to the mixer or the mixer. And this is going to the reverb. It sounds like this. I'm also modulating the shape of the oscillators. And now with the mixer I can control between A or B or a mix of both. Which is quite handy. Okay, and here we have a new module from ComputerScare, which is a blank module that you can load your own images in the right click menu. You can load PNG, JPG, BMP and GIF. Um, you can scale the image and you can also resize the module itself, which is quite cool. So go download it and load your own images. <laughs> and here we have something quite big. <laughs> the Bog audio modules are now polyphonic, which is amazing. And there is also a new module, it's called Mono, which will sum a polyphonic signal into a monophonic one. And it has also a built-in compressor which is also quite cool. And also the levels, we can see the levels here. Um, I have a small patch from patterns triggering the ADDR sequencer. Again, it's everything now polyphonic. Also the FM operator, then it's being summed into a monophonic signal to plateau. It sounds like this, which is quite cool. There are also a few uh, new options, for example, on the sample and hold. So now the sample and hold is normaled. So if you are not connecting anything to the lower gate, it will be normaled to what you have connected on the upper one. There is also an, in, uh, you can invert the signal with the push of a button, which is also quite cool. The ADDR is also a really nice option now in the right click menu, triggered select mode. When this is on and you send a trigger to the CV input, um, it will um, advance by one step with each trigger. So what I mean, for example, here I have five steps. So it will play one, two, three, four, five. Then it receives a trigger and it will play two, three, four, five, six. It receives another trigger. It will play three, four, five, six, and seven. And this will uh, advance in the number of steps you have in the select knob. So if I have here four selected, it will advance four steps. So it will start from one, then it will start from two, then three, then four, and then from one again. Again, if you have it on just two, it will advance by only one step, again with each trigger, which is a really nice uh, mode. Instead of using um, a sequencer or sample and hold, you can just use a trigger and advance and create a longer sequence. We have a few more options also, or another option on the envelopes from the uh, Bog Audio collection. In the right click menu, we can invert the output. So you can see it here, now it's inverted, also on the ADSR, which is also quite handy. So again, the uh, <laughs> Bog Audio modules are now polyphonic, most of them, if not all of them. Yes, which is, uh, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing, go check it out. And here we have another new developer, the Nex Collection. Um, with for now just two modules we have the two by two mute so you can um, mute and switch between two different stereo signals and we have also the double mute which will fade in and out a stereo signal again I have the sec 3 sending three different sequences twice to energy and once to the wave oscillator it sounds like this And I'm switching with the first trigger of the sequencer, I'm switching between the two um, signals. So once the energy modules and once the wave oscillator, and I can also fade them in and out. Which is quite cool. We have a few time uh, scales here. And also again, there is the double mute, so I can fade voices in and out just like this.
and also for each fade in or fade out you have the time scale so you can choose between 1 second, 10 seconds, 100 seconds which is really nice, really really nice and here we have a new module from VCV, it's called Pulses, it can send triggers or gates um, which is also quite handy, so here I have trigger going to the macro oscillator 2 or plets another trigger going to um, the braids in plug mode and I have here a gate going to another voice, everything is going to the corner blob and plateau, so this is plets this is bra braids And then another voice, which is a gate, so uh, the longer I hold the button, the longer the gate is. Which is quite handy again, if you need some triggers or gates, it's there for you in the VCV collection. And here we have a new module from the Tiny Tricks collection. It's a wave table oscillator that you can record um, your own waves into it, which is quite cool. So here I have the FM operator, let's send it to input 1. The even VCO, let's go with the even waveform to input 2. Then source from Squinky Labs will go to input 3. And now I can capture the waveform. And we have three waveforms, one up in the center and down. And now this we can send to the reverb and scan. Oh yeah. Between the wavetable we've created, again, FM operator, even VCO and source. We can also enable two extra oscillators and change their position separately which is also quite cool and of course we can also sequence everything we can also change the position of the wavetable and like this you can go and capture three or two different waves and scan between them which is very very nice you can also hide the scope and also we have a few different themes so we can change the colors of all of the collection or all the modules in this collection which is also quite nice and here we have a few new modules from the Nisci collection we have two polyphonic recorders which is amazing we have a <laughs> something like this a sort of a scope psychedelic scope we have the interleaver which will turn a polyphonic um, mono signal into a polyphonic stereo signal and a polyphonic stereo signal into a polyphonic mono signal and we have scale and offset that we can use so here for example i have a sequence going with the editator from bog audio which we saw before is also polyphonic which is amazing and this is a mono signal polyphonic mono signal going to the uh, interleaver and it's turning into a polyphonic stereo signal and this is going through a reverb and it sounds like this so it's nice and a uh, spread in the stereo field So again, this is quite handy if you want to um, convert mono or stereo polyphonic signals into a mono or stereo polyphonic signals. <laughs> and here we have a new version of the Mix Master for MindMeld, the amazing mixer. And um, this is the Mix Master Junior and the auxiliary uh, Aux Spender Junior also. So it's a, a, a smaller version of the big uh, mixer and it has eight channels but there are two new modules there is the meld and unmeld that you can use to um, split and merge polyphonic signals for this mixer so here for example i'm using it to uh, split the polyphonic direct outputs so we have eight stereo signals you can see left 
and write and if you are using the uh, the bigger version of the uh, mixer you can also choose it to be 1 to 8 9 to 16 or the group and auxiliary outputs so for example if i'm using this for the group and auxiliary i can see group one group two left and right of course and then auxiliary one auxiliary two it's really um, helpful and then we have the meld that you can use um, to merge um, signals to the polyphonic inserts and again also here in the right click menu you can choose 1 8 9 16 and group auxiliary and you can also activate or deactivate or bypass the different channels which is also quite handy and another thing that were added in the right click menu of the channel itself and um, we have the possibility to attenuate the signal coming in the pen cv input so we don't need to use an external attenuator or vca we can do this from the mixer itself. And here we have two new modules from the Orange Line collection. We have Swing and Mother. So Swing will add micro timing to your sequences. And Mother is a, a quantizer with probability, lots of probability options. Here I have a, a small sequence going, the ADDR, sequencing the FM operator. And it's receiving its clock through Swing and the sequence is going through mother it sounds like this and again i can change and you can hear how swingy it becomes and again it's going through mother which adds probability to the sequence it's the sequence itself and also in the right click menu now, it's also new, we can change different uh, styles, bright and dark, which is also cool. And we can change uh, different built-in scales also on mother, which is quite cool, quite handy and quite interesting actually. It's, uh, it can add lots of randomness to your, and, and taste and color to your sequences. And here we have a few new modules from SV Modular. We have a few filters and a comb filter also, and also a chorus, a stereo chorus, which is quite nice. So here, here I have a Orca's Heart sequencing four energy oscillators. They're all going through one of the filters and all together they are going through the chorus. It sounds like this. So this is, for example, the four pole filter. Oh yeah. the state filter, the res filter, oh man. and the comb filter of course. And the chorus. also get quite crazy <laughs> new modules from SV modular and here we have another new developer the cosmos collection we have two filters and also a, a trigger sequencer um, I have here the even VCO going through slap and plateau and also through the in this case, the ladder filter, let's have a listen. It's receiving triggers from the trigger sequencer. Oh yeah. It will also self-oscillate. Band pass. High pass. Oh man. And we have another filter. The state variable filter. Okay, new models from Cosmos. And here we have another new collection, another new developer, the 23 volts collection. We have here a trigger sequencer, 
um, which is inspired by Conway's Game of Life. But we have three different algorithms, High Life, Day, Night, and Conway's Game of Life, and which is quite cool. We have a clock, divider, multiplier, which is also um, handy. We have the MEM module, which can record control voltage. We have the Merge 8, unlike the Merge 16, it will merge only up to 8 um, monophonic signals to a polyphonic signal. We have the Morph with four different presets you can save and Morph or Crossfade between them which is really really nice we have the split eight again with eight channels and we have this is really interesting we have a polyphonic sequential switch which will switch between the different um, channels of the polyphonic signal so if you have eight different channels it will switch between them and this is really interesting so here i have the note uh, sequencer from jw again sequencing polyphonically the fm operator and we have also uh, the basal oscillators, which are being modulated by this uh, morph module. And it sounds like this. And here you can see, if I zoom in a bit, you can see that it's switching randomly in this case between the eight channels of the FM operator, the polyphonic FM operator. And here I have four snapshots saved and I'm morphing between them. I can also do this manually. And again, the cells module is generating triggers that I'm uh, merging to a polyphonic signal to trigger the FM operator. So really nice modules, really interesting. Go check them out. And here we have some more good news. The MSM collection is back in VCV 1.0. Finally, 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 with all its amazing modules and mushrooms. The mushrooms are the most important. We have again the dual delay, the wave shaper, the folder, the beat crusher, the oscillator, the MLFO, the pen VCA, the ADSR, the crazy mode, the sequencer, the fade. Everything is back and it's nice. Go check it out okay and here we have another new developer in vcv but those modules also exist as hardware the nozoid collection um, one thing though in vcv rec most of them will work only with a sample rate of 96k so you have to make sure you are working with this sample rate other than this it's a huge huge collection as you can see and again they exist also as hardware so if you are thinking of buying one you can test it in vcv and here we have a new sequencer um, from bido the zoom <laughs> i think it has um eight channels it's really interesting here i have it sequencing the fm operator for example it sounds like this It has also probability per step, which is also amazing. And a few other cool features. So again, a new sequencer from Bido. And here we have a new sequencer with three different versions from DHE. And it's an interesting one because it's a curve sequencer. So a sort of an envelope sequencer that you can sequence a sort of an envelope. I don't know how to call this a curve. And we have a four step one, eight step one and 16 step one. Here I have it modulating all sorts of uh, things on the wave oscillator. We can loop it and with clicking the gate here, it will start and you can see we have the envelope starting and there is movement here. Let's have a listen to this also. And this will be the second sequencer. And you can see how it looks like here also on the scope. This is the eight step one. You can disable steps. You can change the length, of course, to be less than uh, eight. Unipolar, bipolar, change the time or duration of each step or each stage. Change its curve, the level where it will go to. Here we have a 16 step one. Again, it can also loop. I'm just triggering it once. So it's a really interesting sequencer. 
Okay, and here we have three new modules from the ZZC collection. We have a clock divider and multiplier and an expansion module also to it. And you can choose from where it will work from the left or from the right. And you can also sync it with the clock. And we have also a polyphonic um, gate. So you can send the gate to each of the polyphonic channels which is also quite interesting. Here I have the clock from ZZC. I'm going through the divider multiplier and I'm modulating this. And this is triggering also the sample and hold and also um, the resonator or rings from multiple instruments. It sounds like this. So it's quite handy. And that was it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button, if you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell, and have a good one.